little further. Trying to hurt me. Get out of here. Away from all these mosquitoes. Put some distance between me and the big nest of them. I'm not even gonna be able to run them off. Golly, get out of my face. This is crazy. Now you can't see. You can't see that far in front of you. At all. Had a hard time driving over here with uh with lights. So kind of held back just a little bit. Just uh, at the landing. Cause I was here when it was still pretty dark out, but so kind of held back just a, just a little. But these mosquitoes are vicious. They're biting through the off. They're everywhere. Uh, I'm trying to get out. The water's so low. I'm trying to get out far enough. I can put my drive down and I can hightail it. Oh, at least away from the group that was eating me up. I'm trying to load my kayak. I think they had their their share of blood. They need to. Dang, one of them bit me real hard. I'm a rich Get out of my face. There we go. We are in business. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Well, you can look. Look at all these mosquitoes. They're everywhere. They, they swarm me. Well, as you can see, we're under very foggy conditions. You know, the one thing that really comes in, in handy when you're in condition like this is a flag like that. And also, a 360 light also helps a lot. I also have a pretty bright light that I will... Deploy if I hear a. Uh, I mean, it's good to have that strobe light on the front of your kayak or on the back of your kayak, but I'll also deploy it and and uh, kind of shine and wave a little bit in the um, direction that I hear a boat coming. But water is low, mosquitoes are bad, the fog is bad. Uh, we do have an incoming tide that's going to take place here in a couple hours, so the water is still outgoing. I just so I, you know, I thought, you know, mosquitoes fog zero visibility why not let's go see if we can go catch some fish in the old texas coast via kayak thanks for coming back don't forget to like comment subscribe share and uh, if you want any mosquitoes let me know i'll start collecting them for you i got a little ah that one got me All right, so I made a real bonehead mistake, right? So I, I, I don't have my fish finder. So I have no electronics. So as soon as I started get, I got my drive going, I just was talking to you and I just started heading out, you know, try to get away from the mosquitoes and, and stay in water depth that, uh, that I could use my drive in. And that's a big mistake because I lost sight of the shoreline, uh, you know, which isn't easy to do. The shore's probably like 50 feet away from me. I mean, you have like a hundred feet, and you probably can't see, you can't see it. So I didn't know where where I was out there, and that can be pretty scary, and that can be pretty dangerous. Uh, lucky for me, I was close enough to a subdivision where, and of course, I have my phone, but I don't trust the GPS because you don't know which way you're facing. You know, I mean, yeah, let's face it, you know, you're using a phone, and, and that can really you really don't know what direction you're facing. Or I, I just didn't trust it. But lucky for me, I could hear a dog barking. So I just started going towards the uh, the sound of the dog because I knew, I mean, there's not a dog barking in the middle of, you know, there's not a dog barking underneath the causeway. So I wouldn't get myself in trouble in the middle of the West Bay. So uh, I just started going in the direction of the, where the dog was. And then I saw land again. So I pulled my drive and I'm using my paddle just kind of sticking close to the shoreline where i can see it just staying safe i mean honestly i probably should have waited to the fog to live uh you know being this thick sometimes you know you can kind of judge when you get out here how thick the fog is and and if it's safe or relatively safe then you know i'll, I'll go out and get in the water i don't push the envelope too much i pushed it today a little bit you know just made a, a bonehead decision hurry up try to get away from the mosquitoes throw my drive in and and start moving so here we are 
old school paddle just kind of taking it easy me and my friends the skeetos <laughs> kind of scared myself a little bit but you got to play it safe so pull the drive and i'm just kind of hugging the shoreline and probably in less than a foot of water until i get to this little opening back here and then i'm gonna put my drive back in but you know it's better be safe than sorry that's what i always say no reason to be on the news unless you did something good not something bad like oh uh, well, look they had to rescue another kayaker look at this bonehead almost got hit by a barge <laughs> cork on to kind of cast on my cork to kind of draw them in because you know they hear that chatter they hear that rattle sometimes if they're not feeding aggressive your cork can scare them away but I'm hoping that because we are early in the day uh, that we can get them going voodoo shrimp love voodoo shrimp love voodoo shrimp so realistic so great put some pearl cure on it Get them nice and smelly. And uh, cast a few times so we can bring them in with this guy. <sighs> Gonna cast, let it sit for a second. And then you give it a nice pop. Nice pop. I'm not trying to draw them in. Where are you fish? You know, this is just an open open space back here. You know, open lake back here. So, you know, the fish can kind of be anywhere. You know, typically, you know, when you fish around the marsh or fish around oysters or fish around an intersecting section, you're kind of targeting those areas. So it kind of narrows down the search some. So when you are fishing like open water, you're not too sure what the depth is or even if there isn't a depth it's kind of just kind of flat it's, it's always when it's it's a good idea to to kind of use a cork it's a good idea to use a cork anyway but especially when you're kind of fishing in an open area and like man i've never been here before i'm not really seeing much going on sometimes it's good to toss that cork on and kind of uh you know give it give it a few few pops and hopefully you can run into them Feels like a little red. <clears throat> he might be slot. Uh. What are you? Big old hardhead? Nope, we're a little red. <laughs> he looked dark in the water. Go on. There we go. Just uh tossing near that post right there and I was popping the cork, popping the cork, popping the cork. I know I wasn't recording at the time with my hat cam, but yeah, I got this guy on. Oh my gosh, finally. There's life on this planet, huh? Look at this guy right in the corner, right in the side of the mouth. Full horseman cork, voodoo shrimp. That's what I'm talking about. Look at that, he wasn't even, didn't even set the hook. He even had it because as soon as he hit it, he ran right at me. Scared me. I thought he was gonna get off. And he did not get off. He stayed on and come on bud, open up. Open up. I'm gonna sit you down there. Dang it. Fog is just the fog is just barely starting to lift. Now I can see it. As soon as it got warmer. I could feel it. It's like, oh man, it's, it's warming up. The fog starts lifting, so that uh, warmth is burning the fog off a little bit. So these fish are start really, hopefully, really, really coming to life. And he is just, man, he is like a hair away from 20. So nice guy. Hair away from 20. We're gonna let you go, buddy. Thank you for making my morning. Ooh. 
<laughs> that took like four hours to get. Hopefully the next one doesn't take another four hours because it's going to be a very uh, kind of video. So, but yeah, I'm just, you know, just trying to draw a fish up using the sound, using the cork, really just trying to draw a fish to uh, entice one to bite because yeah, that's the first bite. That's the first bite of the day. So luckily that lucky luckily for me this camera was rolling behind me so i was able to catch the uh the hook set but yeah we're just gonna keep working keep keep uh keep on fishing nice to nice voodoo have some procure on it inshore saltwater super gel tenum go have a chatter weight on it 30 pound your zuri fluorocarbon leader line New Penny, Shrimp Mantis, Chartreuse Tail, and White Swim Mullet. A little flounder. Ah. White Gope, little guy, have that little bump bump, bump bump, little thump, and uh, a little thumper doer. Oh, looking for something a little bigger than this, but it's all good, you know. Just a little baby. Get him off and get him on his way. Hopefully, hopefully find big sister around. There it goes. Be a little bigger than I thought. Yeah, buddy. He's still undersized, I think. Uh, yep. Yeah. Oof. Right in my ear. Goodness, mosquito. Just a little, little guy. <sighs> mosquito, get off me. Get him off and on his way. a little better uh, uh, maybe about the same size and I always like to measure just in case yeah he's 13 and a half so yeah he's about 13 so the one before him probably was closer to 14 maybe 14 and a half but yeah I'm gonna let this guy go thanks for playing buddy Feels a little heavier. Oh yeah, this is a keeper. Can we get him in here? Uh, maybe he might be 16. He might have to enter the bag if he is indeed 16. Uh, you 16, buddy. He might be going home with me if you are. Let's see. Another nice clean hook set. Just don't wait, you know. You feel that little tension? I kind of, kind of uh, test a little bit. Hold on a little bit. Make sure it's it's heavy. You know, sometimes it's the ground. Sometimes it's the oyster. You know, it doesn't it doesn't cost you anything to to have a uh, make a hook set on the on the mud and it'll come loose. You know, or, or or whatever. I think he's gonna be small. He might be 15. Yep, he is just a at 15, buddy. You're lucky. You're just at 15. I'm gonna get those yuckos off you. Get the little fleas off you. Just at 15. Flatty. He is gone. Thanks for playing. That's one slot fish for the day. <laughs>
Well, everybody, that is going to do it. You know, this was like the foggiest weather that I've ever been out in, in fishing in, whether I was kayak fishing, bank fishing, weight fishing. This is the was the foggiest, and I got myself in a little bit of trouble to start the day off. So that is a lesson learned. You know, I always say go out in the water no matter what, and you're going to learn some lessons. Well, that was definitely a lesson learned getting turned around in the fog, but... You know, I ended up with a uh, three, I think three small flounder and one flounder was just right at slot and uh, got a red that just missed slot. But I had a good time. You know, I always, always have a great time on the water. And I'm a hope, I hope that you guys had a good time coming out too. I appreciate you and, and I, I try to make the video first person as much as possible because I want you to feel like you're part of the trip. I want you to feel like you're in the kayak with me, you're in the boat with me, and uh, and it's just me and you guys. But hey, like I said, I appreciate each and every one of you. I hope you subscribe to the channel and like this video, comment, share, all that stuff is very, very helpful. And until next time, I hope you catch me hooking up and I hope there's a little less fog. Thanks. <laughs>